Toy Story 4 is a film that I couldn't help but find myself feeling skeptical about. Leading up to it, I was a little uncertain about how this movie was going to go. I loved the first three movies, and I thought the third one had ended it on a perfect note. So when they announced that they were doing a fourth Toy Story, I had some mixed emotions. I, I didn't really know if it was going to be a necessary or important film, but after having seen it, I have to say I loved this movie, and it was incredibly necessary and important and moving. And I just think that this movie is brilliant. Toy Story 4 does a great job at adding new characters and spending time with the old ones. A bunch of the other toys get a little bit sidelined because we don't focus on them. People like Slinky or Rex, the older toys, but the people that the main cast of toys such as Buzz and Woody and Bo Peep who has returned in this one, they get a lot of time up front and we get to spend some time with them, specifically Woody and Bo Peep. And in fact, this movie does such a fantastic job with Bo Peep that she's now one of my favorite toys. Because those first two movies didn't really do anything with her, but in this movie, then they spent a lot of time with her and made me care about her as a character. And I was really happy with that because I, I had never cared about her before. They also introduced some new, uh, very funny toys played by Keanu Reeves for one and Key and Peele, and they're, they're great, and they, I, they just add such a presence, and they make it feel a little more fresh and a little more fun, whereas this could feel uh, a little bit stale and not necessary. Just adding those new toys in is something that this series has always been really good at doing, and they continue to be good at it here. And the toy that basically serves as the villain of this movie is really well handled. I really liked how it felt very different from the way that previous Toy Story films have handled villains. So even though this is a spoiler-free review, I do just want to mention they did a good job with that, even though I can't say much more about that. So one of the things I was primarily concerned about was this film not being necessary, but the way that everything goes in here and the way that it ends and everything that happens in this uh, makes it feel like a very necessary film, and I'm incredibly glad that they made this movie because I absolutely loved it, and it's it's such a fantastic movie, and just throughout, it's very entertaining and engaging, and there's lots of different dynamics that they have with the new toy Forky and Woody and the way that that relationship plays out, and just so much going on here, and it's all blended together really well and makes for a great film, and... I can't say too much in a non-spoiler review, but I just I just love this movie and so much about it worked and there was barely anything that just didn't quite fit in. There's it's it's possibly the funniest Toy Story. It's it's incredibly heartfelt and it's just honestly such a brilliant film and I'm really glad they made this movie and I'm really glad that I saw this movie. Overall, I thought the Toy Story 4 was brilliant. This is a really engaging and delightful movie that everybody can enjoy, whether you're a young child or you're an older woman. It, you will enjoy this movie. It is great, and I certainly enjoy it. I will probably enjoy it when I am old and have gray hairs, but uh, I, I just loved it, and I'm, I'm so happy with it, and the way that it, it concluded just, it's, a, it's just such a fantastic way to, to end this movie, and I am just incredibly happy that this movie was made, and I loved Toy Story 4, and I'm going to give it a rating of 9 out of 10. So yeah, that's going to do it for now, folks. I can't really say much about Toy Story 4 in a spoiler-free review. I considered doing a spoiler one, but uh, even though mo most people have probably seen it that want to, I figured I, I would just stick to the spoiler free and have a more accessible video and yeah that's ultimately all i have to say i love this movie i'm so glad it was made and it i just thought so much about it work and i'm i just find myself really really happy with this movie and that's great because i was super worried about it before i was like i don't know if this is going to be necessary i don't know if this is going to be important i don't know if I'm, it's going to be as good as those other ones but it is not the worst toy story which is great because the worst toy story is a great movie you know and in my opinion it's the first one but some you know i'm sure you have your own opinion um yeah anyway enough about this uh be sure to let me know what you thought about toy story 4 down below i would be happy to check up a conversation but that's basically all that i have to say for today folks so um if you're interested in more um tv reviews or anything like that like game of thrones doctor who Chernobyl, Jessica Jones, Luther, any of that stuff. I've got lots of reviews out, Black Mirror. Um, if not, uh, that's totally cool. Um, this is actually my first movie review on this channel. I considered doing Endgame and I decided not to, but this one I just wanted to talk about just just because it just it just hit right with me, and I'm, I'm just super happy about this movie. So uh, anyway, that's all I have to say for today, folks. So yeah, that's going to do it for now. Thank you for watching. Take care, and have a lovely week.